My students are the ones that keep me going. I have kids who live for music lessons and they love music itself like as much or more than me. And that's inspiring all on its own. It, it fascinates me to see how fast they learn things. I'm Nikki. I am 27 and I'm a private music teacher. My homeschooling background, I started when I was in first grade and then I was a graduate of homeschooling. I was going to my local public school for a year and a half. They noticed there was like giftedness going on academically. So the superintendent said, well, we could give her more homework or you could just homeschool her. And my mom, she tells me regularly, she's like, I couldn't believe she actually said that. So I think like my first major exposure to music was my grandmother who was a church organist. And I remember like crawling underneath the pews during church, during the postlude, and she'd be playing. And I'm like, how does she do that? She was the choir director also, you know, jack of all trades. I was like, mommy, I want to take piano like her. Like I want to get good at it. I noticed my first tics when I was, I think it was like, it was definitely preschool age. I didn't know what it was. And I think they got increasingly worse as I was an adolescent. I went through college and I had quite a few like anger issues. That was when I kind of started discovering that maybe it wasn't like me, maybe it was like a neurological thing. So I started learning more and more about Tourette. I had a professional finally diagnose me and I went into a lot of depression like I didn't know what to do. I joined an online support group through Tread Association of America. I was like, I don't know if I can do anything with my life anymore. Like I was so frustrated and my tics were so severe. And she's like, well, you have this gift with music. Like, I believe you can like make this work. Like you have a purpose. I was like, well, maybe I could. And that was around the time, like in 2020, when I started building my own business and started getting some of my confidence back. I knew in seventh or eighth grade that I wanted to open my own business and teach the arts someday. It was after grad school, I had applied to like all these different higher education administration kind of jobs and I got turned down from all of them. And I was so frustrated and I'm like, God, what do you want me to do? I ended up taking a job with a local music school to get some experience. And then I started building up my own studio in 2020. And then I got my first space in February of 2021, little 300 square foot office space. And I taught private lessons out of there. Today, I have about 50 students down the street at a twice as big space. Whenever you're doing something you're passionate about and you have Tourette, you usually don't tick. And I found that with like music teaching. And now with my diagnosis, I have several students with Tourette in my studio. So I feel like I can really pour into these kids, especially, and say, hey, like, you can do this, it's okay, and, but I'm gonna give you breaks, and I understand that life gets harder for neurodivergent people sometimes. I think everyone should be able to study music more formally beyond what like a general music class or general like homeschool co-op class could give them. Because there's something really special and something that really boosts your self-esteem when you're able to say, I can play an instrument and I can play it pretty good.